Hey guys, great day today. Wearing the Superman shirt because I definitely Superman the hell out of those spy puts. If you guys, if you guys watched the video prior, you know that we were heavy shorts and what happened today? Let me show y'all. So this is spy and spy tanked heavy today. We said we said this in the prior videos. Um, the one right before this one actually if you want check it out because we didn't call stuff that we didn't call we called what we called and This was a great great actually let me move this thing a little more so I don't need to always um, Let this work. Yeah, all right, so We spoke about this we rode all the bullish rides and all the bearish Momentum up and down up and down up and down and today we hit our high probable bounce area, which is the 375 level we actually hit 372 Yeah, we hit 372 which was a lot more than uh, we expected But if you watch that video man, oh man, and I'll show you my portfolio today. It's red because my my positions are red, but man, I Banked off of spy puts and I'll show you because I'm not no guru um, all my spy trades. Um, I added some other stuff. Took a spy put for tomorrow. Well, I actually wanted to take this for um, when we saw this rejection over here. Just a super small position. Um, just one. It's a hedge. If it goes to zero tomorrow, I really don't care. Um, you know, obviously, I hope the market goes up because I added a lot of positions today. Um, basically, went shopping. But point is check this out uh how do i close this so like i said today i'm down 3900 bucks but my trades today was the spy one which i am up a thousand eight hundred and thirty five dollars so like i said i'm only gonna show you guys what i traded um the portfolio is down and that's okay because um it is what it is that's what trading is I uh, hope you guys didn't freak out, especially if you guys are investing, because those are two completely different things. And if you're investing, little shakeouts like this shouldn't really affect you. But I hope you guys watched the prior video, because if you did, hopefully you guys hedged today. Um, so let's talk about where the market is going to go now. As of right now, I am somewhat bullish. Uh, you might ask, why do I have a put then? Uh, like I said, it's just one put as you can see right here. It's just one put um, And I don't care if I lose it because that put cost 244 and if anything, I'm still up a thousand five hundred for the day today and If it does go up that means my general portfolio will go up as well So not really afraid like I said, I'm going to Mexico on Monday. So trade diligently be aware Don't be biased a lot of people were biased and that's why they got killed Remember to always look at the bigger time frame. If you looked at the bigger time frame, this is very, very predictable for you guys because we hit a top around here and we had rising volume coming down. So if you had this trend line, you would have known that it would have hit this level already. So I think uh, we're set up for a nice bull run if this holds and it looks like it's holding so far because we closed above the 375 high probable bounce area. If we're talking about the Elliott wave, this is an A equals C move. Um, the A corrective wave is the same as the C that put us at 375. Um, and also it's confluent with multiple points. If you see here, we bounced off the trend line. So we might be headed back up here. I might take a short at this 385 level because if you look at, we got a, a put for EEM today. So this is less congested, so you'll be able to see it a little more. I think we're gonna come back up here. If any of you guys trade and know the pattern called the head and shoulder is a bearish formation. So I think we might, so this is the left shoulder, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. So I think we will make it back up here. And once we hit up here, we're gonna come back down and possibly correct a little more. Um, I think personally to the spy 355 area might not ever get there if we do have a lot of uh, news and I do think that we are in a uh, Different era now you have a lot of people coming into investing. So 
stocks are going to be pumped and you guys got to be ready for it and be open-minded you know as always trading is very about your mindset and uh, trading psychology so always be open to getting your thoughts invalidated so i'm currently bullish i think um we should probably hit around here however if we do get as you can see spy if we do get some downward movement i do see support here at this 368 level which will then complete that exact uh head and shoulders formation so this would be the left head down here and then bounce back up here could very well be that um i don't know as of right now i am bullish because we held above the uh 376 uh 375 level which is a high probable bounce area so i'm just playing direction in the case that we do get some movement down i'll make sure to hedge my position like i did today we took a lot of puts from the prior days and rolled it over to the um today god damn my freaking tongue so that is where i think the market is gonna go i think we're gonna go up from now hopefully we do because i like i said i went shopping you see some bullish uh confluence right here on the macd the rsi is a little oversold not oversold sorry um it's just a little more towards the sold levels rather than the um overbought levels there's the daily chart so if this crosses you already know we might have some momentum upside um the whole bond thing and everything i still think stocks is a way better investment i mean two percent bro come on three percent what am i gonna do with that you know inflation although people say it's a few percents or two percent something like that you do know that inflation is actually a lot higher they've done a study on this household items etc they're all very um they all raise every single year at a rate of around 10 to 15 percent so inflation is actually 10 percent if you're talking about the cost of living so just be careful um hopefully you guys are all in this with me and make sure to check out the videos like i said i won't be here that much next week because i'm going to mexico i'm probably going to you know put some vlogs up maybe make this into a vlog on the financial chance you know showing people that financial freedom is is beautiful um it's not meant as a way to brag or anything like that but i'm finally enjoying life i want to share it with you guys and hopefully you guys will be able to do the same in the future um honestly i don't even know what the future holds because is the dollar even going to be worth anything i don't know so all this money with the bad luck i have all this freaking money is probably not money anymore because of inflation um let's see what happens but i'll be here trading all the time i think um uh, oh look at this the market's up so that's great um yeah i guess that's it and i hope you guys have a great day make sure to share this with your friends i know a lot of you guys ask me to check out specific stocks i might check it out when i get to my hotel tonight i'm not leaving tonight but i gotta go upstate for something so maybe i'll do it then not gonna be the best quality video but hopefully it helps or maybe i'll just do it when i come back from mexico so that's the benefit you guys make sure you guys comment share this video follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok follow me on whatever but make sure you subscribe because i think uh we bring humongous value to everybody and we're a team so if you have any good stock picks make sure to post it below because we should all work together very few people that want better for their whoa very few people who want better for their lives so if you're here to improve i'm here to help and if possible help me too one last thing my top watches well top picks for the upcoming week and the month since i'm not gonna be here is gonna be pltr why because we're holding this level humongous volume macd is about to cross rsi on the somewhat oversold not oversold again but uh towards the sold levels rather than overbought um looks amazing a falling wedge which is a bullish uh signal just like we broke out of the rising wedge well broke down of the rising wedge for spy we saw some huge downside this one i think we're gonna see upside we see a base consolidation and a doji right here with volume about to cross here kathy wood's been loading up and i think we're going to explode a lot of word on the street and also shout out to my platform callsreputs.com if you didn't see this snow pop like a mother f um today let me just show you before i show you pltr so all of these 
we're at 10 something. So look at those 1028, right? Boom. Now let me show you this 10 something, 1020. Boom. Insane stuff. But anyways, uh, PLTR. Oops. I believe we got something today. Let me double check. Yep. See, we have a $6 million in coal and a $300,000 call for June. So this is my top watch for next week. Hopefully you guys get into it tomorrow or whenever you guys want. Obviously not financial advice, but I wish you guys more life, more success as I go enjoy myself tickling my balls in Mexico. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.